setting up your photo prints um, basically this is pretty simple uh, you can take a template pick a template here are a few templates that I've created um, let's see let's take this princess right here which is my design number 38 I'm gonna take design number 38 you know what let me take design number 39 I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna put it into my breeze interface folder and I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this and in my breeze interface folder as I said earlier there are a total of nine JPEGs. I'm gonna I'm gonna add my I'm gonna paste my overlay here, which is the design number 39. Now, Breeze software does not recognize this title. It only recognizes it if I changed it to overlay. Overlay. Now, Breeze software knows to pull the overlay here. Um, let me delete that one too. That one was from earlier. Okay, now I'll go back here and I am going to turn on my camera. Well, I don't really need to turn on my camera, but I'm doing it anyways. I'm gonna hit F8 release. Connect my cam. Connect my camera. <coughs> Should it be in the M mode? So I'm gonna change that. Now it's connected. I'm gonna go to File. I'm gonna go to Photo Boot Settings, and I'm gonna go to Custom Layout Settings, and then I'm gonna go to Presets. Now I gotta make sure that it's in one large, three small, because that's the template that I'm using. I'm gonna hit OK once I choose that. I'm gonna go to Preview. It's right here, and then once I get here, um. not showing me the right setup because my printer is not set up right so I'm gonna get out of there I'm gonna go back to file I'm gonna go to printer setup I am going to choose a printer which is the high tie 510 I'm gonna set this at 6x4 I'm gonna leave it at portrait I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna go back to file I'm gonna go to printer setup I mean a photo boot settings and then under the photo boot settings I'm gonna look for the word custom layout settings I'm gonna click on the settings and then I'm gonna go to preset layout just to make sure I have the right template these are the presets I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna go back to preview to make sure that everything's loaded properly and here's the template and I'm gonna go and push my left mouse key and there it is there's my template as you can see everything is set up properly now this is the area where you may want to add some text right here happy birthday to so and so you can customize it any way you want it just so happened that that's what I put princesses um, and that's how you set up and, and load your um, photo prints you can load in strips if you like if you wanted to load in the strips photo strips I can show you how to do that um, first of all we gotta go to your folder and delete this overlay and then let's go pick another template let's go to the two strips of four presets these are all presets um, for instance if you wanted to use something like this winter formal um, Let's choose something else. All right, let's use this winter formal January 28, 2012. Let's just say I'm gonna choose design number four on this strip. I'm gonna go copy, and I'm gonna go back to my folder, breeze interface. I am going to paste that in that folder. Now I'm gonna take that again. Like I said. Breeze does not recognize this. It only recognizes the word overlay. So I am going to rename that overlay. 
and then I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head out there. I'm gonna go back to my Breeze software. I'm gonna go to File. I'm gonna go to Photo Boot Settings. I'm gonna look for the word Custom Layout Settings, and then I'm gonna go to Presets, and then I am going to look for the double strip of four, right here. I'm gonna hit OK, and then I'm gonna go to Preview just to make sure I have it right. And I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna press my left mouse and hold it, and there it is. There's the template that I created. Shows that everything is set up properly, so you can see. See the tip of my mouse right there? If I click my left, it's exactly to that tip, so it's perfect. And it'll cut it to the strip right here in the middle. And that concludes that lesson.